Hey hello everybody, welcome into this new video. In today's tutorial, let's take a look how we can use some references images to create some really great artworks, wallpapers, whatever you want to. In my case, I want to show you that I use these reference images and I use this uh, this guy as a reference images to create something like this. And it was it wasn't that hard. So let's get started with how we can do this really really easy. So first of all, what you want to do is to find two references images. So in here, what I'm going to do into Google, I'm going to type for, let's say I want to go for forest at uh, autumn, like this. And let's see if I can find something here for this one. And here, what I want to do is to download this image. If I choose to save this image, I want to make sure that this image is on GPG or on PNG. So once I do have that option, what I want to do is to look for, let's say, redhead anime girl walking towards something like that. So I want to focus into this one. And I'd, let's say that I want to use this lady or I want to use this girl. So once I do have my two images, I want to go into save image as hit into save and this one ends with GPJ. So I think we are good to go here. So what I want to do here, once I fill out my images, actually I think I'm gonna stick around with this one as well and see if we can do something better. I'm gonna hit into save image once again, hit into save and my image is right away. So now what I want to do is to go into mid journey. Here into mid journey, what we want to do is to create an account. We want to sign in and then what we want to do is to create and import a Discord account. So I'm going to close this for a second and I want to go into sign in or join the beta mode. This one is going to be sending me into Discord. So here in Discord, what I need to do is to allow Medjoni to enter my account so we can like join in the server here into the beta mode. Here's going to be opening up the Discord application. I just need to enable the server. I need to go into accept invitation. And here is going to be appearing my invitation into Medjoni. Now that we are inside Medjoni, what we can do is to start working here into the newbies section. Here it says newcomer rooms number three. I can go with number four if I wanted to. But I just want to focus into one of them. And once I am in here, what I want to do is to look for the um, the user that generates these images for us. And this one is going to be called, of course, the Medjoni bot. So here's the Medjoni bot. You can look for them into the members list. Here into the members list, you can see that's going to be appearing the Medjoni bot. So I want to look for this guy. And here I want to add this to the server. And here I want to add this into a new server that I've just created. If you don't have any, anything yet created, go in here, go into add server, go into create my own. I'm going to skip this question for now. And here I'm going to tap my own AI art. Hit into create. And boom, here is generated my server. So I'm going to go back here into my journey. Once again, I'm going to hit into the new comma, the new V section. Once again, I look for Medjoni bot and I want to add this server into my own AI art. I hit it to continue and I want to allow to have to grant the permission of everything here to successfully, of course, to work correctly. I want to go into I'm a human and hit into your authorize. So there we go. So now what I want to do is to go into the X button and go into my server, which is actually my own AI art. And here it is, everyone will commit to uni, but here it is already been added successfully. All right, so let's get started. What we want to do is to go into the plus button and upload our images. So in here, I'm going to upload this autumn image and I'm going to upload this, this one and as well as this one. And then I'm going to hit into enter so we can import our three images. And you might be thinking that they will be all. Well, it's not like that, but we are almost at the. So what you want to do is that you want to go into the forward uh, slash one and hit into info. So once you hit into info, 
what you're going to be seeing here is the information about your subscription. Of course, since we are new here, we're not paying absolutely for anything. We are into a trial mode. We have Jove mode fast, uh, public, fast time remaining, 23 minutes and lifetime usage, three images. So what you want to focus is that, of course, we do have 25 minutes usage totally for free. And after that, we want to use a plan if you still want to use this great weight application. So once you do verify that you have a trial mode successfully done and you accept the terms of service, I'm going to go here and tap once again the forward slash. I'm going to tap imagine. Here it is. And it's going to be asking for a prompt. So speaking about the prompt, what I want to do is to look for my images already uploaded. I'm going to click into the first option. Right click, copy image address, and I'm going to paste that into the prompt. So I'm going to hit space. Let's try with the first one. I'm going to copy image address, and I'm going to paste that. And I'm going to go once again space, and I'm going to look for oil painting, painting, and I'm going to look for something else. Let's say I want to. Uh, have like HQ, high resolution, high quality, 4K, and I want to leave it like that. And I think if you are good to go, I'm going to hit space. So after I hit into one space, I'm going to tap hyphen two times, one, two, boson, space, four. I'm going to hit into enter. Now it says, uh, I'm going to hit into got it. Now here we have the oil painting HQ4 version started now. So once again, I just needed to wait a couple of seconds. Sometimes it might be taking a few seconds, but I'm pretty sure it would be taking more than 50 to 60 seconds. So let's wait and see what does the server of Betoni has created for us. All right, so as you can see, we do have four different options that we can choose. I want to look for this one. And we do have one, two, three, four already generated. Here it is. So I think like I do love the first character. So here into the first character, what I want to do is to look for V1. Speaking about V1, B means for variations and U means for upscale if you liked the image. So I want to focus into the first one. So that's the reason why I want to look for one and V is a variation. So I want to make the variation of this image. I want to hit this option. And once again, we need to wait a couple of seconds until the computer create four variations of the first image that I just selected. All right, you don't have to freak out here because the work hasn't been done yet. It's still on the work. Uh, section. So I'm going to click into this option and as you can see I do have different versions. I think I kind of like the third one and what I need to do is to upscale the third option. Hit into upscale and now it says upscaling image number three on all painting upscaling by at this is my server I just wait to wait once again a couple of seconds until my uh, work has been successfully done. And there we go. This is our upscale image. As you can see, it looks really, really awesome. I think that we can edit a few details in here, but so far, I think I liked it. And uh, it's really, it's looking really, really great. So there you have it, guys. It was really, really easy to use this uh, great, great tool. You can make more variations if you want to, but in my case, I'm just going to leave it like that. I think that it's more than enough. So thank you once again for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe if this was a very useful video for you. Have fun with Mid Journey, but try not to spend everything in just one day. And speaking about the minutes that you have available into your account, it's the minutes that the computer, the bot, it's taking to create your uh, work here. So it's not like you have 20 minutes straight. It's like the usage of the bot. So in my case, I do have only 21 minutes available. So hopefully guys, once again, this was very entertaining and fun for you. Thank you once again for watching the video and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.